Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Listen, today I'm at Wales at the Royal Wales Show. There's a flower show going along with the overall show and I want to show you some of the beautiful flowers that I've seen. This is absolutely magnificent. The designs here, the plants, just check this out. There are a lot of flowers on display here, but I'm captivated by this beautiful bed filled with all these magnificent alliums. I see multiple types of alliums here, some really large ones, and then some of the smaller globes. These are wonderful because you can plant them in the fall and they'll come back year after year and they look really great. Here the alliums are tucked in with the dahlia and that's just a beautiful color combination. Here's another bed where you have the wonderful sedums up top here, but down below this you have a bug hotel. And I'm looking to add one of these to my garden here pretty soon. I've been thinking about it. I need to be more supportive of the beneficial insects that are supporting my garden by pollination. I need to give them a bit of a place and a home and an opportunity to grow and thrive. Here's another little bed. This is filled with herbs. Just kind of a nice herb bed. And I love these raised beds. This is just a beautiful concept. And you can do this in your own garden with a small space. You can kind of add in the plants that you would like to see in your space. And this is a really beautiful representation of that. So while these beds are nice, and I love some of these statues because some of these would be a wonderful addition to the garden, let's step into the floral art section because I can see it from outside here, outside the marquee, that these are some magnificent floral displays. This section is called floral art for a reason. You see the intertwining of different materials, plants, and other cloths and materials to create these beautiful mini gardens along with these beautiful fairy dolls. Those flower arrangements were magnificent, but there's another marquee here with even more flowers in it. So let's go check that out as well. Here's some really nice fuchsia. These are some smaller plants. I've seen them much larger, but these are really nice as well. So I guess this is going to be just more your typical floral displays. Here's a fuchsia tree. Oh, that's really magnificent. Fuchsia is always such a wonderful color combination. Nature really put those flowers together well. Nature and breeders. But I love what I see here as far as the colorations. The white and the pinks and the purples. Those colors all blend together so well against the green of the background of the leaves. It makes those colors of the flowers really pop. Here are some larger dianthias blooms. I love dianthias. Again, before they bloom, a lot of dianthias looks like grass. <laughs> but once they bloom, you can tell exactly what they are. And the larger dianthias doesn't look as much like grass as some of the smaller varieties. But I would say be careful if you plant it and it can get out of the garden. And it may look just like grass and your grass starts to bloom. But some lilies here. Beautiful. Some really great color combinations. And here's a magnificent coleus. Look at that color combination there. Now, I love coleus because you can grow this from seed. They grow from seed really well. If you can get the seeds in the spring, plant those out. I've always had great success with coleus. 
And here's a display from the Welsh National Vegetable Society. You can see some of the larger vegetables. You know, you have the largest vegetables I think you'll see at the end of the season. But these are some magnificently large leeks and celery. Those are the largest things here on display at this time. And they're pretty big. Here are some dahlia blooms, and dahlia is so wonderful because this is a perfect display where you get to see kind of more of the single variety, and you get to see the pom-poms as well as some of the cactus. Dahlia just come in so many different blooming patterns. There's a lot of variety within the dahlia family, and you can really, really jazz it up if you plant a lot of them. I've seen great displays with all of these planted together, and it looks really beautiful. They also don't all bloom at the same time, so you can set up a dahlia bed that can give you quite a long blooming season across mid to late summer. Now here's our first prize rose display and can you imagine what the rest of this plant looks like? This is a magnificent bloom of pink, kind of a corally pink petal. It's just really, and it's also fragrant. This is a beautiful display of roses. Here are some sweet pea blooms. I've never grown sweet pea personally, so I can't give you a lot of advice on it, but I do know that they're vining and the blooms are really magnificent. Here you can see how these plants have been bred to produce really beautiful and colorful blooms in the kind of pink to yellow and purple family. It looks really great. And here's some darker colors. You have a red mixed in there as well. Just kind of a bit of a full color combination of which you can get as far as the color varieties. Those were some really great floral displays. Now right across, they're selling some plants over here. So we'll take a look at that real quick and see what they have on sale here. Here's some seed vendors. I don't know if I want to buy seeds personally at this time of year, unless it's something to be maybe leading into next year. Most everything I want planted right now is planted, but I'll take a look at there. Uh, but here are some actual plants that are for sale as well. It would be really nice if I could see some daylilies out here again. I'm always on the hunt for daylilies and I never really see many of them in the UK. Here's some beautiful agapanthias. I see a lot of really, really tiny canna and here's some really tiny canna. A miniature variety. I'm used to them at a much higher height. The ones I'm used to are all about two meters tall, six feet or so. But I like the smaller ones. Now here's a beautiful rose. A bit of a peachy coral color. Just Joey. That is a nice rose. And here, classic, what I'll call your English, I guess in this case, Welsh cottage garden flowers. Some dianthias and others, anemones, anemones, ferns, things that look good in a great cottage garden. There's some pelagoniums or are these geraniums? I believe these are actually pelagoniums. Nice colors. And this is really catching my eye. These tiny, short sunflowers. I'm used to them being much taller, but I like this variety. Kind of smaller and compact. Beautiful sunflowers. Mm -hmm. 